morning, everybody. Continue with the high performance car. I will show you a presentation uh, about the collaboration between uh, active aero system and vehicle dynamics control to increase performance in a super sports car. In, uh, uh, I'm gonna, and also how the uh, tools like uh, vehicle dynamics simulation and the driving simulator help to carry on this project, this process. I'm gonna take into account the Aventador SVJ, which is the last uh, uh, development of the Aventador family. And I, talk, I will take uh, into account this car because uh, in this car the vehicle dynamics performance and the aerodynamics performance are pushed uh, push to the limit. And, but this process is also applicable to every model, model we develop with some differences. Uh, two years passed since uh, Lamborghini presented to the VI grade conference, so I'd like to give you some numbers uh, about the situation that we, our company is today. These are some figures of 2018 compared to 2017. Uh, of course, we are a small company, but we had a huge increase on, um, on cars sold with like 51% uh, increase. We have um, a substantial increase on the employees and that th this also led to uh, double the, the surface of our factory. And we increased the numbers of the dealers worldwide significantly. Uh, this of course is also um, the uh, thanks to the introduction of the third model on our offers, which is the so-called uh, super sport utility vehicle, uh, the Urus. Uh, like uh, you already saw in other presentation of OEMs, everything starts with the project targets. Uh, the project targets are uh, um, set by a specific uh, department in uh, R&D, and uh, here I have highlighted some uh, some targets which is important for which are important for this uh, presentation. Uh, of course, the performance. Uh, the, this is a high level target. So in the performance, we include uh, the maximum speed, the um, acceleration, the braking performance. We have the driving emotion, which is very important for us. And here we include the fun to drive and the. Uh, uh, the stability of the vehicle, the traction, and so on. And, but also, uh, on the other side, very important, the overall quality, for example, because uh, every design, design choices uh, has, to, has to, let's say, uh, compete with the quality department, so it has to be uh, at a high level of quality. And also, the customization is very important for us because we want to give uh, a tailored experience to our customers, uh, starting from the, uh, um, from the beginning, from the uh, configuration of the car till the driving, uh, the everyday driving of the car. I'm gonna focus on uh, the, the collaboration between aerodynamics and vehicle dynamics, because of course, talking about the whole development process is quite complex. But because we found out in these years that uh, um, there, the collaboration between the department can sometimes uh, create conflicts between the department because they, we have uh, maybe internal targets which are different or conflicting. But if the collaboration um, and the sharing of the target starts from the very beginning of the project, all the conflicts uh, can become opportunities. So going down uh, to a deeper level, uh, we have a department, for example, the vehicle dynamic department has its own uh, project targets, which are set uh, internally. Uh, here, for example, we highlight some uh, trivial, let's say, that you can understand, uh, that everyone can, uh, can have on this vehicle dynamic, other one are more specific for our company and we cannot share it, but we have straight line stability, corner stability, braking and truck performances. So going, uh, going on to the development process, here we have uh, on this flow, it's not a V chart of course, but it's a, it's like this. 
we have uh, the aerodynamics department activities on the top, the vehicle dynamics activities uh, on the bottom, and in the middle we al always have to take in mind the project targets. Uh, everything starts with uh, uh, a series of, me of meeting uh, of the aerodynamic guys um, on one side with the vehicle department, so with us, and uh, on the other side with the Centro Stile, which is the um, uh, bodywork uh, designer center in Lamborghini. And after a series of loop, they reach convergence and they come out with the first uh, target IR loads. And, uh, and the, the first calculated map, uh, the preliminary maps calculated on CFD, that are the input of our uh, first uh, loop of simulations. So, um, the information that we get from the aerodynamic uh, department at this level of the project uh, is used to make some high-level high simulation, let's say. Uh, we evaluate the overall uh, load, aerodynamic loads of the car uh, in relation to the, uh, to the project targets. And we evaluate the maximum uh, axle loads um, uh, at high speed, because we, with high speed performance and high aerodynamic loads, uh, it's very important to, for the design of components such as um, the suspensions and mostly the tires. And also with the, we do some analysis on the aerodynamic balance, both from an objective point of view, then a subjective point of view on the driving simulator. Uh, this information, again, are the input for the aerodynamic department. And here we go in a much in a greater detail. And it can happen that it is, is uh, needed to make more loops with the Centro Stile to make some body works modification, of course. And in the meantime, the, the virtual car model is, uh, is increased, uh, precision is increased. And in this phase, also the, um, the first data uh, from the uh, wind tunnel uh, usually is available. So we have the, some measured uh, aerodynamic maps and that are also used to uh, validate the uh, preliminary CFD simulation. Um, okay, and in this phase, uh, we also the, we start to have from the aerodynamic department um, there are some fancy videos. Uh, the first information uh, about the aerodynamic actuators, because the, um, in this case, the event the SVJ has uh, an active aerodynamic system. Uh, so we start to have the information about the available actuators for the project. This again, uh, we, is a hard turn uh, of the vehicle dynamics. And the information from the, from, the, from the loop of the aerodynamic studies are the input uh, to uh, our simulation. In this phase, we start to design the control logic of the active aerodynamic system uh, with the method simulink usually. And um, also we start um, uh, a series of um, uh, sensitivity analysis uh, here, for example, I show a simple one, which is like the lap time sensitivity versus the actuation time, uh, which is, of course, uh, performed with the VI grade and Simulink. But as I learned this morning, with the VI carrier time uh, version 19, maybe it's possible to do it, uh, everything in VI grade, carrier time. And, and also in this phase, we have the first, the first information of the truck testing that uh, is used to validate the different aspects of the model. Uh, at this time, uh, we, uh, after the, the initial design of the control system and the uh, sensitivity analysis, we give back some feedback to the aerodynamic department that uh, goes, uh, makes other loop in the wind tunnel that in this case are um, directed uh, with the suggestion of the vehicle dynamics uh, simulation, because usually they, they go to investigate in greater detail some uh, ranges of specific uh, ride height, uh, for example, or to investigate a configuration that during the, the vehicle dynamic simulation and driving simulator test uh, came out to be of interest or critical, for example. And uh, in this phase, uh, 
we also uh, we start a series with, with, the, with the new uh, aerodynamic map, let's say, with the greater detail uh, of the wind tunnel. We start a series of um, uh, driving simulator joint tests with the aerodynamic guys. Uh, so we work together uh, at the simulator uh, to evaluate the overall behavior uh, of the car, which is now in a uh, quite a mature stage, almost mature stage, let's say. And we evaluate the overall behavior of the um, uh, control system logic. And we, we, we refine the calibration of the active aerodynamic system. And uh, we try to investigate the uh, wider range possible of conditions on track and on different situations uh, to evaluate to uh, that in, in, the, in, uh, in the track testing would be very demanding for us in, in terms of time and, uh, and money. So uh, at this point, we are almost at the finish of the design. Uh, of the design phase, the design process, and there is a sort uh, of design freeze. And, uh, but of course, uh, uh, even though we try to, to bridge the gap between testing and simulation as much as possible, we still have to go to make some checks and tracks and uh, final verification to uh, release the final calibration of the active system and the uh, active aerodynamic um, uh, system calibration, uh, the, the, dynamic, the aerodynamic configuration of the vehicle, sorry. Uh, here, for example, are some uh, simple plot of the, some relevation. Uh, um, as an example of the activity that is made uh, at the end for the validation of the, uh, of the active system that we have uh, uh, tried at driving simulator and in offline simulation and, uh, in uh, previous phases. Here are checked and uh, validated on track. This is the Nardo track, of course. Another in interesting aspect that we are uh, including in uh, our process is the preliminary uh, evaluation of the functional safety test uh, in a simulation environment. Uh, we have a simulation in uh, Santa Cata Bolognese since one year, uh, almost one year, and we're, we're trying uh, we started uh, to, in a preliminary phase, to make a test on the control system, the uh, ele electronic control system of the vehicle, both the active aerodynamics, but also all the vehicle dynamics control system, to um, explore the functional safety test in a preliminary phase. Let's say we go to the driving simulator, we inject some faults on the electronic system, the control system, and we evaluate in a safe, very safe environment uh, uh, the severity of the, uh, of, of the failure, let's say, of different type of, type of failures, and also the controllability of the vehicle, uh, both with uh, our professional test drivers and also with me and my colleagues that are not professional drivers, of course. And the idea is to increase as much as possible the the part of these activities made on a simulation environment, on a virtual environment, and decrease uh, as much as possible the track activities that for a company like cars, like uh, Lamborghini, it's very demanding. Here, I, I'd like to, to give you with some images of uh, our uh, static simulator in Automobili Lamborghini in Sant'Agata Bolognese. And with this presentation, I. Uh, the intention was to uh, give you an idea on the importance of uh, vehicle dynamic simulation and mostly driving simulator activities for, um, to design a robust process even for a small company, a uh, very small company uh, like Automobili Lamborghini. I was sick this day, I'm sorry, I, I am not in the picture. Thank you very much.